here I have some building blocks. These are Legos. I'll bet a lot of you have Legos. So they're building blocks of Lego buildings, right? Now they're just plastic. So I also have like a chapstick that's plastic. I also have my pencils are plastic, right? So I have a lot of things are plastic. There's something special about Legos where I can build with them. Cells are kind of similar. They're made of the same stuff, the same atoms, the same elements as everything else, right? But cells are put together in a very special way that makes living things. And kind of like if I took this Lego and I smashed it up into a bunch of little plastic pieces, could I still build with it? So we need the Lego to be shaped like a Lego for it to build life, right? Inside of our cells are lots of little parts and we can keep breaking cells down smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until we get down to the elements. But if we do that, we can't build life with them anymore. They have to be put together in this special way in order to make living things. Now there are some living things that are just one cell. We have over 30 trillion cells in our body by the time we're grown-ups. Babies are born with like 15 trillion if I remember rightly, so a lot less. But each of those cells has different jobs to do. Each cell in our body has its own separate jobs to do, so they have to be different from each other to do different jobs. Each part of the inside of a cell has different jobs to do to keep that cell alive. So each recipe in our DNA is called a gene. So a gene is just one recipe for one thing. So you might have a gene for what kind of earwax you make, for example. So you might have a gene for gooey, slimy earwax or for dry, crusty earwax. So you have these different genes for different recipes for how to make earwax. And when it's time to make earwax, you don't want to like tear up your DNA to do that, right? So what we used to do is we made recipe cards. Some of you may still use them. I still use my recipe cards. I use the internet too, but also I really like my old recipe cards. Recipe cards are a way of writing down the recipe, copying it out, and then taking it home with you. So my recipe cards all say where I got something. So it'll say Ella's cookies, or it will say Laura's soup, because I know where I got all these different recipes from. All those different recipes are from different people. I've copied them down. In our body, our cells need to copy out those recipes to make things from them. All the recipes in our cells are recipes for proteins. So those proteins, though, need to be made depending on which ones you need, and they need to be either saved for later or they need to be sent to someone else. Protein comes together kind of like pot beads, only, you know, microscopic. Because the whole recipe is just one little bit of the recipe at a time all the way along the DNA. It's the cells that are working. It's the cells that are making your heartbeat. They're cells that are digesting your food. All of these things that are happening are being done by cells. 